proceed with our next part uh, I think this is part 5 okay uh, so this is the summarize of the formula uh, of this one okay we say about the number two short formula GDP GNP GNP this is market prices factor cost national income personal income and disposable income okay uh, as I mentioned before product and expenditure approach the formula is the same while for income approach the other basis indicates about in income approach the the market price and factor cost okay so now uh, hari to uh, our previous teaching video we have done until uh, we find the gross domestic product and then we plus minus the output according to the items lah and then we got gross national product and I already mentioned to you what does it mean by gross domestic product and also what does it mean by gross national product so now we will go with another step we want to change from gross national product market price to gross national product factor cost we are focusing on expenditure and product approach because in uh, income approach Dia ada, uh, lepas kita dah jumpa gross national product kita terus akan dapat national income ataupun nama lain dia net national product uh, so dia tak ada dah untuk tukar kepada gross national product factor cost pula cuma untuk expenditure and product approach sahaja akan ada meaning that for income approach item yang digunakan untuk change from gross national product market price kepada gross national product factor cost nampak tak sama je gross national product belaka tapi kat belakang tu yang berbeza this is market price and piece them for market price factor cost nanti kita akan short form kan dia sebagai FC so item yang akan dipakai di sini ada dua sahaja which is subsidies and indirect taxes ok hopefully you still memorize uh, in my previous video I told you we have three types of tax and this tax will be used at different place pertama ini indirect taxes ok yang kedua direct taxes and yang ketiga adalah personal taxes three types of taxes yang akan digunakan di tempat yang berbeza and make sure you use the correct tax at the correct place or else the flow bawah tu semua akan jadi salah and same goes here sama je the indirect tax, direct tax and personal tax because kat sini dua belah ni untuk expenditure approach and product approach this, it is the same things ok so dua item je yang kita pakai which is subsidies and indirect taxes ok Jadinya, kalau you jawab soalan dan soalan tu pasal income approach make sure dua item ni memang kita tak dipakai sebab dalam income approach dia tak ada pertukaran daripada market price to factor cost ok, we in mind alright, so now before we go with the formula although you can see here clearly that subsidy we must add but for indirect tax we minus ok uh, to make it easier for you to understand the formula you need to do the meaning uh, what does it mean by market price what does it mean by factor cost so let's go back for our slide ok what is market price market price are price actually paid by the purchaser which therefore include indirect taxes and exclude subsidies given to, given to the producer nampak tak market price ni harga pasaran ok if you go to the kedai and you like to buy pen for example so harga pen tu RM2.50 uh, so itulah yang kita panggil sebagai market price and dalam harga RM2.50 tu dah termasuk sekali cukai barangan ha, macam GST lah goods and services tax so every types of goods in the in the market they have their own tax ha, of course ada setengah barang yang memang tak ada cukai langsung tapi mostly dia ada tax ni kita panggil indirect tax goods and services tax ok and tax ni dah termasuk sekali harga barang tersebut sebab memang tak ada kan so sampai you go ke kedai you want to buy pen lepas tu uh, kat kedai tu dia differentiate uh, uh, harga pen ni sebenarnya singgit setengah cukai kan singgit sebab tu jadi duit setengah kalau dia buat beza macam tu orang akan boycott orang akan complain kenapa kami yang kena bayar cukai tu kenapa sampai seringgit cukai dipindahkan uh, ok so bear in mind kita already learn this uh, on our chapter for uh, chapter do you want to get that do you want with intervention
Ah, uh, sorry. You don't know about this. It's okay. Okay. Cukulah saya bagi tahu macam ni je lah. Cukai ni sebenarnya in the first place cukai barangan the government impose impose tu maksudnya mengenakan kepada siapa? Kepada pembuat pembuat barangan tersebut iaitu seller lah. Uh, for example kalau saya jual pen kerajaan akan kena cukai ke atas saya sebab saya penjual pen. Kenapa kerajaan tak terus direct kenakan kepada pembeli which is the buyer because it is very hard to identify which buyer yang akan beli pen. So, kalau kerajaan main pukul rata, ok, seluruh rakyat Malaysia ini adalah cukai pen which is seringgit. So, akan ada rakyat Malaysia yang memberontak mengatakan, saya tak perlu guna pen pun, saya tak akan beli pen. So, why do I need to pay the tax? So, dia akan jadi isu macam tu. So, the best way for the government untuk kenakan cukai ke atas barangan ialah kenakan cukai kepada orang yang membuat barang tersebut which is the seller. Ok, and specialnya cukai ni sebab dia namanya indirect tax cukai ni boleh dipindahkan bebanan kepada pembeli uh, sebab itulah apabila ada GST goods and services tax the price of the product barangan dalam pasaran will start to rise this is because the the seller pindahkan beban cukai yang kerajaan bagi pada dia tu kepada buyer dengan cara naikkan harga barang Uh, okay Wait lah uh, I need to charge my Okay So basically um, Itulah specialnya Indirect tax Nah ni kat sini Sebab indirect tax ni Walaupun in the first place Siapa yang dikenakan cukai tersebut pun Penjual, pembuat barang Tapi dia boleh pindah kembaban cukai tu Kepada Pembeli Haa uh. So, masa bila dia akan pindahkan beban cukai tu, dia akan tengok lah. If the product they sell has lots of competitors. Contoh macam ubat gigi. Ingat tak? Konsep elasticity yang kita belajar dalam kelas before. Okay. Kalau barang tu terlampau banyak pengganti in the market. For example, ubat gigi kan ada banyak brand kan. Ada Kodomolaya, ada Dali, ada Colgate. Macam-macam jenis lah. So, kalau peniaga, kita sebagai peniaga put yourself in, in the shoes of a seller if we 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 apa we shift pindahkan burden of tax tu more to the buyer, ubat gigi kita akan meningkat dengan tinggi harganya berbanding ubat gigi lain dalam pasaran so apa implikasi dia bila harga ubat gigi kita terlebih mahal berbanding dengan ubat gigi lain Our customer will start to change their preference. Instead of buying our toothpaste, they akan beli our competitor's toothpaste because their price is cheaper. Uh, so, as a seller, even though we know indirect tax ni kita boleh pindahkan beban dia kepada buyer, we cannot shift sewenang-wenangnya. Uh, kita kena tengok dulu barang kita tu macam mana. If our, the good we sell has lots of substitute Ada banyak lagi yang sama macam kita dalam pasaran We cannot shift lots of the tax burden to the buyer Kita kena, orang kata serap tax burden tersebut Kita tu maksud saya seller lah Supaya harga barang kita tak tinggi Dan kita tak akan hilang customer Tak dapat untung macam mana kalau customer tak beli Tapi kalau you jual barang yang Jenis yang inelastik Inelastik tu maksudnya customer tak peka pada perubahan harga Contohnya banyak cigarette, rokok Sebab dia ada addiction kan uh, So, even though the government impose tax on cigarette You as a seller Sekarang ni dia kena cukai For example, satu kotak rokok tu ada RM5 cukai dia So, harga asal rokok tu RM20 jadi RM25 dah sekarang Eh, bukan RM20, tak boleh, tak boleh, tak macam tu Maksudnya harga, harga akan meningkat lah Okay, so point yang saya nak kata sekarang ni, you tahu dah, your buyer, customer awak, akan beli juga sebab rokok ni edited. And bukan boleh substitute senang-senang, oh kalau tak beli rokok, boleh pakai web ke, tak boleh. Sebab dia, material selain kan, ha, perokok je faham. Okay, so as a seller now, kita nampak that one as an advantage. Instead of kita serap dan bayar cukai tu kepada kerajaan, 
kita pindahkan beban, shift the burden to the buyer. Dengan cara, banyakkan pindah beban tu, harga rokok akan meningkat dengan benda tak? For example, kalau RM5 kerajaan kena dengan cukai kan? Dia, be beban cukai ni kita kongsi tau. Seller dengan buyer, kongsi. Ha. Tapi kadang, -kadang eh, memang seller, uh, memang buyer unwell lah. Tak, uh, dia tak tak sedar. Sebab dari segi harga barang kita letak dekat pasaran tu, kita tak tulis cukai berapa, harga kos berapa tak ada. Okay? So, as a good seller, kalau you jual cigarette, kalau RM5 kerajaan impose tax on your product, what should you do is, you shift more to the buyer. Sebab buyer konfor akan beli. So, contoh dia, dalam RM5, RM4 buyer bayar, RM1, kita as a seller bayar. Nampak tak? Kelebihan dia. If you sell product yang demand dia inelastic. Customer tak kisah pada berubah harga sebab produk tu tak ada substitute. Okay, so my point here, itulah kelebihan indirect tax. Ha. Okay, dan satu lagi yang ada adalah subsidies. So what is subsidies? Subsidies ni, kerajaan bagi bantuan kepada seller okay, in order to reduce the burden of producing goods bagi bantuan kewangan so that dengan harapan apabila seller dapat bantuan dia dapat kurangkan kos dan dia dapat jual harga barang dengan lebih murah itu the function of subsidies minyak kalau tak dapat subsidi harga minyak mahal kan tapi bila minyak dapat subsidi Maksud saya petrol ni, harga petrol rendah. Betul tak? Ha. So, siapa yang menikmati subsidi juga? So, kalau dari segi one sense, kita nampak subsidi kan kerajaan bagi kepada seller. Seller lah yang nikmati. Tak juga. Sebenarnya, buyer pun nikmati subsidi. Kenapa? Sebab bila seller dapat bantuan, harga barang rendah, meaning that kita as a buyer, kita dapat manfaat daripada dia. Kita dapat beli dengan murah. Itulah yang kita kata benefit of subsidi. Ha. So macam ni, burden of tax tadi Kita kongsi dua Benefit of subsidy juga Kita kongsi dua sebenarnya Okay So in this case Market price ni maksudnya harga yang Customer pay Jadinya Market price ni Dah termasuk sekali cukai ha. While factor cost Adalah The price that the producer get Ataupun seller get Ingat eh Tax tu milik siapa? Tax belongs to the government Even though the price here Yang customer paid For example harga pen eh Termasuk cukai jadi RM3 RM3 But do the seller get all of that? RM3 kita kena ingat RM3 ni maksudnya RM2 plus RM1 RM1 and RM1 ni adalah tax uh. so which one belongs to the seller RM1 tax belongs to the government right So, what the seller get is RM2. Hopefully, you can get what I'm trying to explain here. Why seller tak dapat? Why, kenapa customer bayar RM3? Kenapa seller dapat RM2? Sebab RM1 tu milik kerajaan. Tax belongs to the government. Of course lah, kita bayar kepada pekedai. Tapi, at the end of the day, pekedai akan return lah dalam bentuk tax to the government. Okay. Are you okay with that? Alright. So, here dia kata kat sini, market price are price actually picked by the purchaser. Therefore, it will include indirect taxes. Sebab sell, uh, buyer yang akan bayar tax kan? Sebab dia dah pindah beban. And, dia akan exclude subsidies. Sebab subsidi ni, diberikan kepada seller. So, subsidi ni milik factor cost. Tax dia milik market price which is customer. 
Okay, we have two 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 side here, which is the customer and also the seller. Okay. Okay, market price, customer price. Producer, seller. Producer, seller is the same thing, eh? Seller's price. Buyer's price. Uh, okay. So, not to cut it, but it market price compared to effect the cost from here to here. Ada do aja. Subsidies. Dengan indirect taxes. Ada dua benda yang you kena ni. Okay. Alright. Even though I already mentioned before, saya kata, uh, apa, kalau uh, cukai ni kita kita kongsi bebanan, subsidi pun kita kongsi benefit. Okay. Dalam kes ni kita assume, Cukai, eh, uh, setiap pihak tu ambil satu seorang je. Cukai, customer bayar, subsidi, seller dapat. Are you okay with that? This is the assumption, andaian dia. Okay, so sekiranya kita nak tukar daripada market price kepada factor cost, kita kena tahu factor cost ni adalah seller kan? Seller dapat apa? Dia akan dapat subsidi. That's why kita kena tambah sebab subsidi ni milik seller. Dia akan pergi ke sini But Indirect tax ni Buyer yang kena bayar Kita ambil satu seorang Sebab tu kita kena Tolak Are you okay? Alright Wah Kalau dia tukar soalan kan Dia tukar buat terbalik For example Daripada Nak tukar daripada factor cost kepada market price pula. Sebab kadang-kadang tu soalan tu bertukar tu. So, sebab tu saya tak galakkan awak menghafal. Saya ingat you need to try to understand this. So that it will be easy for you with the formula. Okay. So, yang yeah, factor cost adalah seller's price. Okay. Jadinya, seller takkan. Ni sekarang kita nak tukar daripada seller kepada buyer. So, yang mana satu buyer akan dapat? Buyer kena bayar apa? Indirect tax Sebab tu kat sini Kena tambah Well Subsidi Pergi kat Tak kepada buyer Tak pergi kan Dia milik seller Kat sini So Ini akan jadi Tolak Dia kata balik lah Formula dia kita, Kalau kita tukar terbalik Okay Hopefully you can see this Alright So this is the differences kalau dekat sini kita tahu Factor cost are the real price earned by the seller Minus the tax lah Because the tax belong to the government So they exclude the indirect tax And include the subsidy received to producer By the government Are you okay? Alright Tapi uh, Tapi Market price Sorry market price please. Indirect tax yang saya merah ni Okay dia ada banyak nama oh. So that's the challenge lah Kalau soalan tiba-tiba dia tukar nama lain Sebab tu You kena tahu semua nama lain Bagi indirect tax Jangan risau I already list down here See We have three types of tax In the, in the formula lah in, in this question Indirect tax uh, Indirect tax yang tadi kita baru belajar tu jadi kita akan guna masa bila Bila kita nak tukar daripada market price Kepada factor cost Okay Direct tax ha, Tengok balik formula Formula kat, dekat atas ha. Direct tax kat sini kan 
Kita lagi kita nak tukar daripada national income kepada personal income from here to here. Ha, so saya tulis kat situ yang ni bila kita nak tukar daripada national income to personal income. Kita pakai masa tu. Well personal tax, kalau tengok sini ni kat bawah ni. Kita nak tukar daripada personal income kepada disposable income. So bila kita nak pakai change from personal income to disposable income ok so three different tax using it in three different place make sure you can identify the tax so that you tak salah ok saya beritahu dia nombor lain kan ha, dia nombor lain dia untuk indirect tax nombor lain dia kalau dia tak pakai indirect tax in the question dia will use tax on goods and services tax on expenditure indirect business tax company tax company, uh, kalau kalau direct tax pula company tax business tax company and business income tax tax on company's profit corporate income tax while for personal tax nombor lain dia adalah income tax personal income tax tax on income private income tax on indirect income mudah je nak ingat jangan risau Ha, ni lah, keywords dia Indirect tax adalah tax barang Barang kan, tax on goods and services While direct tax adalah tax company, syarikat Meanwhile, personal tax adalah tax income of individual dapatkan orang biasa tak? ni tax barang ni tax company ini tax pendapatan so basically it's very different ok so kalau you nampak walaupun nama dia lain bila dia lebih macam uh, keywords dia dia dah sebut expenditure ke goods ke indirect ada keywords dia indirect expenditure ataupun goods and services tu bermaksud indirect tax you akan guna masa nak tukar daripada market price kepada factor cost well kalau yang ni nak cam dia walaupun dia keluar nama lain dia tak pakai direct tax nama dia direct tax yang sebenarnya official name dia kalau dia keluar nama lain awak cari dia perkataan company business company company corporate ha So, itu semua bermaksud direct tax yang kita guna untuk tukar daripada national income kepada personal income. While, last kali which is the personal tax ni adalah income tax. So, keywords ni mesti ada sebut income, 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 income. So, you nampak bila income tax tu itu adalah personal tax yang kita nak guna dekat last kali masa kita nak tukar daripada personal income kepada disposable income and bear in mind every tax kita minus ni tolak, ni tolak, ni tolak because tax does not belong to the people, it belongs to the government are you okay? hopefully you can see that ok, ni tax barang ni tax company ni tax pendapatan tapi jangan confuse eh, kalau ni ada income juga kan, tapi dia bagi tahu dah income company bukan income personal so dia adalah milik direct tax kalau macam ni kan dia tulis mana ah, indirect business tax business kan business macam masuk maksud dia company corporate kan tapi kalau ada indirect maksudnya indirect tax ok alright so in our question there kita proceed with question 1 lah sebab kita dah buat question 1 kan This is question 1, sorry saya, uh, saya buka yang kita dah label Oh sorry, tak apa-tak apa, kita label balik It's not hard, ok Kita dah identify banyak banyak so, uh, banyak item dah kan uh, This is question 1 Ok, so Private investment E E E import ni kena tolak, public investment E, ok ha, now you know the tax right ha, tax on expenditure tax barang kan perbelanjaan, ha, so ini you pakai untuk tukar daripada market price kepada 
fat the cost. Nampak tak? Ha. Lepas tu, household expenditure. Ya, tak, jangan sambungkan ni lain. Ni perbelanjaan household. Ini maksudnya consumption. Government purchase of goods and services ni per, perbelanjaan kerajaan. Property gain from abroad. Ini kita dah buat kan? Dah tukar daripada GDP kepada GNP. Ini pun sama. Dah tukar kepada GDP kepada GNP. Abroad, abroad tu kan? Step 2. Pertama kepada step 2. Kalau from, tambah. Kalau to, tolak. Depreciation, okay? Subsidy zone lagi kan? Market price, fat the cost. See? Simple. Nampak tak banyak dah yang dah label dah. And that you can do it. Cuma depreciation. Kejap lagi saya hajar depreciation. Okay. So, what happened to the flow now? Flow kita akan bertambah. Kita label kan? Ha, so, before this, sampai sini kan? So, kita tambah property came from abroad. Property paid to abroad. Tolak. So, kita dapat 851. And then, ha, dia kata Uh, sebab ni expenditure approach kan expenditure approach step dia seterusnya adalah lepas kita dah jumpa GDP MP GNP MP kita nak tukar pula kita nak cari GNP factor cost tukar je market price kepada factor cost GNP sama ha, so benda yang kita pakai subsidies and indirect tax so here what should you do is you akan tambah subsidi sebab ingat factor cost ni kan uh, seller punya tambahlah kan Uh, uh, indirect tax dalam kes ni dia pakai tax on expenditure so you write down tax on expenditure lah jangan tulis indirect tax walaupun you know tax on expenditure is indirect tax so if you write down indirect tax you tak kena pemakas sebab you tak ikut item dalam soalan ok so it will be 90 tolak 89 everything you minus you letak dalam bracket ok so you akan dapat 852 GMPFC very simple ok so kalau tengok soalan lain pun lah sama mana Ha, indirect tax dengan subsidi. Sebab tu saya tulis MPFC, MPFC. So, kat sini pun cam. Mana, mana satu indirect tax? Ha, ni tulis dia pakai tax on expenditure. This is subsidi. Subsidi tak ada nama lain. Luckily. Okay. Ha, ni subsidies. Mana tak? Indirect tax. Nampak tak? Ha, you can try all question eh. Because I provide you the answer. Dia tengok dan baca macam tu. Tak ingat. Cuba rujuk jawapan. Ha, subsidi, indirect tax. Okay, you can try it Alright. So, we're going to answer that. This is question 1. Let's go back to question 1. Okay. And afterwards, after we have find this step, dah jumpa ni, dah jumpa ni, dah jumpa ni kan? Ha, sebab kita kat expenditure approach. Sama je sebab ni dua sama. So, sampailah masa untuk kita cari Net national product ataupun nama dia National income Nama lain bagi national income adalah net national product Jangan nah, confuse pula ya Okay So After We have got the net gross national product Better cost ada satu je You kena uh, tolak, tolak, tolak Dia tak akan jadi tambah Which is depreciation Susut nilai Ataupun nama lain dia, capital consumption. Yang saya beritahu lah, ini bukan consumption eh. If consumption comes together with capital, maksudnya depreciation. You guna untuk cari daripada GMP factor cost kepada national income. Ha, so, carilah. Dalam soalan dia ada satu je. Normally. So, this is your question. This is your depreciation. Sebab tu saya tulis NI untuk dapatkan national income. So, sambung flow dia. Once you dapat ni, minus dengan depreciation, minus tak dalam bracket. So, you akan dapat Net national product ataupun national income equals to 777. Are you okay? Uh, so, untuk equal to 120, uh, in terms of calculation, memang you can akan kira sampai national income saja. Dalam formula saya, memang I provide until personal income and disposable income. And saya akan ajar juga why? Sebab kadang-kadang tu, item dia orang ni keluar. Tapi kalau you tak belajar, you tak akan faham item ni milik siapa. You akan tersalah ambil, letak dekat lain. So, saya akan ajar for precaution. Okay? So, this is where we stop sebenarnya. Sampai sini je. Awak punya calculation. But, dia nak cari national income. So, let's look at the question again. Macam mana nak jawab dia? So, first of all, you do the flow dulu. Tak payah tengok lagi soalan. 
buat dulu flow dia. You dah identify yang dia pakai expenditure approach kan. Ha, so expenditure approach, flow dia, cari GDP market price, cari GMP market price, cari GMP factor cost, cari NI. Ha, ikut flow dia dulu. Please down the flow. Like edit here. So I follow the flow. And then, baru jawab soalan. After you have up until national income. Pertama, soalan pertama dia nak tahu. What is gross domestic product market price? Ha, huh. GDP MP lah. GDP MP. So, this is our, the first one, right? GDP MP. So, tulis je lah kat situ. You dah buat flow. Tulis je lah kat situ. Itu aja jawapan tu A. So, tu saya letak kat sini. Yang kedua, dia nak GDP factor cost. Ada ramai student ni. Kata tak sama lah jawapan ni. Tak sama. Ini adalah GDP market price. Ini adalah GDP factor cost. It's, the, it, it, it's a different thing Tapi dalam flow Ia cuma ada satu je GDP Kan Kalau tengok below This is GNP And this is also GNP Okay You tak boleh ambil Oh jawapan dia ni lah kot beda Lain Jadi cross domestic product In cross national product Oh So what should we do We can do Do this Sebab dalam jawapan ni dah GDP market price kan Tapi dia nak GDP factor cost Faham tak masuk market price dengan factor cost Tadi kita baru je belajar Market price harga Buyer Factor cost harga seller Macam mana nak tukar daripada buyer kepada seller Subsidi dan indirect tax So what should you do is You ambil nilai GDP Market price Macam saya letak kat sini lah. GDP market price 843. Campurkan dengan subsidi. Tolakkan indirect tax dalam kes ni. Tax on expenditure. You dapatlah GDP factor cost. Simple. Keluarkan daripada flow buat yang baru. Sebab dia tak ikut flow. GDP uh, factor cost ni tak ada dalam flow. See? It's not that hard. As long as you know the, the meaning of this, you can find the answer. Okay? And next, the question wants you to find the value of G and P factor cost. Do we have this in our flow? Yes. That's why I put it here as C. Jadi, lepas saya buat tu, saya tulis P kat situ. Okay. And last kali, they want the answer of national income. So, this is national income D. Very simple. Come on. You need to try. Okay, lepas tengok teacher video ni, try terus. Okay, make sure you label correctly. Try dulu label sendiri. Okay, afterwards, barulah you rujuk jawapan saya. Basically, soalan ni tak panjang pun, pendek je. Apa so, sampai dia? P, 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 P belaka. So, for this question, you use product approach. Ini capital consumption. Dia bukan expenditure sebab consumption comes with capital. So, dia adalah depreciation yang you akan guna untuk cari NI. So, kenapa yang saya label belah dalam, yang saya label belah luar? Sebab yang dia saya label sebelah dalam ni, dia masuk untuk semua approach dalam setiap formula. Masuk belakang sebab dia belah bawah kan? Belah bawah ni kan sama belakang untuk tiga-tiga. Okay? Alright? So, inilah saya dah simplify kat awak ni. Huh. Nak tukar domestic kepada national campur receive abroad tolak pay abroad kalau dia letak dia dah tolak siap-siap kat one net you ambil je nilai dia nilai dia positif tambah nilai negatif tolak lepas tu yang ni pula bila kita nak tukar daripada market price kepada factor cost sebab JMP sama kita cuma nak tukar daripada market price kepada factor cost so ada dua je indirect tax tolak Subsidi tambah Sebab factor cost harga producer Producer tak bayar tax Kita assume Kita assume eh So indirect tax ni milik uh, buyer Kita tolak Sebab dia milik ni Tapi subsidi ni Kerajaan bagi kepada producer Sebab tu kita tambah And Bila nak tukar daripada Kat sini MP sama MP sama kan Yang hijau ni beza Which is gross kepada net ha, Gross kepada net Satu je you kena tolak Which is depreciation Or capital consumption You okay Masih bagus ya, saya tak letaklah formula dia sama je. Cuma ya, yang kat sini dia skip yang tak ada ni. Direct tax. Yang ni, receive abroad, paid abroad. Yang ni, uh, terus depreciation. Boleh dapat NI. 
Okay, that's it. So, I, I don't think I can tell. It's okay. Okay. Cuma ya kadang-kadang tu soalan saya tulis jelah kat sini. Dia suruh cari gross domestic expenditure. Ai, ada ke? Sudah so, saya macam tu lah. Dia kata madam aja GDP P gross domestic product. Soalan nak gross domestic expenditure. I haven't learned that. Maybe soalan salah. Tak. Come on guys. Ini eh, bukan soalan salah eh. Actually, gross domestic expenditure means gross domestic product. And it also means gross domestic income. Huh? What is this? Saya nak bagi dia duduk sekali ha. Dia benda yang sama Sebab Bear in mind kita ada tiga approach kan To calculate our national income Which is Income Expenditure Dan juga Product Kan formula kita ada tiga kan Income, expenditure, product So Kalau product Short form dia P Kalau expenditure Short form dia E Hai kalau income short form dia I So apa ke benda ni Sebab tu lah kat sini Dia boleh jadi GD Dia boleh jadi GDI Dia boleh jadi GDE And dia boleh jadi GDP Faham tak? Kan kita dah buktikan Tiga approach ni Jawapan dia sama kan? Ha. So tak kisahlah You pakai product approach ke expenditure approach ke income approach ke jawapan dia sama kan jangan jap i need to kasi tu like this thing okey dah ha, so kalau dia panggil gross domestic expenditure mean that is gdp is the same sama 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 same same Okay Kadang-kadang tu Ini pun boleh Boleh juga G and I G and E G and P Nampak tak? G and I Ni kan awak pakai JNP kan Tapi kadang-kadang tu dia boleh jadi JNE Cross National Expenditure Cross National Income But this basically means JNP Okay uh. Alright Tapi tak adalah PI jadi PE PP tak ada tak ada Untuk PI dengan DI ni sama je untuk setiap Okay uh. NE and I tak ada N, I, N, E, N, P tak ada N, I ni pun sama je tu setiap Sebenarnya ni je lah boleh bertukar Sama ada gross domestic income Atau expenditure ataupun product Okay Hopefully you are okay with that 
Okay, so sikit lagi saya nak tambah. Kita nak tukar daripada national. Sorry, cross kepada net. Eh. National lah, betul lah. Kita tukar daripada national income. Eh, so. This is national income. Nama dia net national product. Cross kepada net. Kan nama dia ni? Net national product. Net. Cross kepada net. Nama dia national income. Nama lain dia net national product. Cross kepada net. Depreciation capital consumption. So sekarang ni. Bila kita nak tukar. Daripada net kepada personal income. Okay. National income kepada personal income. This is the item yang you kena tu. Dan dia banyak ni je. Dia takkan ada tambahan lagi. Biasa macam ni je. Okay. Pertama. First of all, kita kena faham maksud personal income. Personal income dia kata, income earned but yet not yet received. Personal income is the total income that is actually received by household in an economy in a year for consumption, paying tax, saving, payment of personal income tax. So, dia bukan income bersih tau. Dia, dia income yang kita dapat supaya kita boleh settlekan perbelanjaan kita. Okay. So, to find personal income, benda yang kita punya kita akan tambah. Tapi, benda yang kita kena keluarkan duit, kita akan tolak. Ha. So, apa yang kena tambah? Saya tunjukkan sini, senang. Satu adalah transfer payment. Kenapa tambah? Sebab transfer payment ni akan jadi personal income. Tambah untuk personal income. Transfer payment ni maksudnya, the money you got from the government. For example, selama COVID-19 ni, you dapat BPN. Macam student dapat bantuan RM200 dan so So, this is transfer pay. Duit kebajikan masyarakat, duit scholarship and so on. It belongs to the personal income, step wise kita tambah. Tapi yang lain-lain tu kita tolak. Which is so-so, nama penuh dia. Social. Social. Security. Contribution. EPF nama penuh dia. Employee. Provident. Fun. Nah. Ini semua duit keluar ni Dia macam KWF KWF KWSP EPF ha. kita ni It is our money but we cannot use now Simpan dan wajib yang kerajaan tetapkan kepada Rakyat Malaysia yang bekerja Untuk benefit in the future lah Tapi tak boleh pakai sekarang Simpan dan wajib Corporate tax Cukai, cukai company Dia tak akan pergi kepada personal Because this is milik company Company akan tolak Insurance Insurance ni Yang you pay monthly Bukan bila you dah mati You dapat tu tak This one you need to uh, Your expenses are This is all your expenses Perbelanjaan So kita akan tolak And undisputed profit Oh, Yang ni yang kena Be careful Hopefully you still memorize this I, I teach in last chapter uh, Last teaching video and this with the profit actually belongs to income approach to find GDP. You kena tambah both. You dapat gross domestic product, right? Tapi, and this with the profit ni special dia. Dia juga milik approach yang lain-lain. Bagian bawah untuk cari personal income. Tapi, you kena tolak. Uh, see? Even dekat income approach itself, dia akan masuk dua kali. Bukan masuk dua kali nilai yang sama tau. Dekat atas untuk cari GDP, dia tambah. Tapi bila nak cari personal income, ada sebetulnya profit tu kena tolak. Dekat lain pun ke sama. Ada sebetulnya profit tolak, ada sebetulnya profit tolak. Hopefully you are okay with that. So be careful eh. Income approach. Ada sebetulnya profit does not solely belongs to income approach. You will use that to find PI for other approach. Okay. And. Last kali, after you have got your PI, you are going to put. Nak cari yang last ni which is disposable income And satu je item yang you pakai adalah Personal income tax ha, Ni ni lupa ni Satu lagi guna tax kan Ada tiga tax kan First tax, indirect tax Here Corporate tax kat sini Yang you pakai corporate tax Tak pakai direct tax Cukai syarikat Cukai syarikat guna kat sini Cukai pendapatan persendirian guna kat sini Semua kena tolak Ni tolak, ni tolak, ni tolak ha, From PI Nak cari DI You minus personal income tax Hmm. And you dapat DI So what does it mean by DI? Disposable income is actual income spent After paying the personal tax So senang cerita disposable income ni Adalah income bersih yang you dapat Selepas you tolak semua sekali Sebab tu you duduk bawah sekali dalam formula 
ini adalah income awak yang you boleh belanja after you have tolak personal tax personal income tax ok are you ok with that so hopefully you are ok then kita tengok satu soalan you yang ada semua sekali Jadi dia soal kat bawah so that kita boleh apply kan ha yang ni question 7 so let's label this together with me ok kita nak tentukan nak pakai approach apa kita label kat luar dulu ya eh? ok so government spending perbelanjaan kerajaan bukan government service eh government spending so this is government expenditure so it belongs to expenditure approach household consumption perbelanjaan isi rumah it is consumption E investment adalah perbelanjaan untuk firm so E depreciation ha susut nilai pakai masa bila masa kita nak cari national income kalau tak boleh lagi tengok formula rujuk formula import import adalah E expenditure approach kan tapi kita kena tolak employee providence fund ha, tadi baru belajar EPF kalau kita nak cari personal income and indirect tax indirect tax tax yang mana tax barangan kan ha, kita nak guna masa nak cari market price kepada factor cost ni abroad abroad ni ada dua ni ha, abroad masa bila kita nak guna masa nak tukar daripada GDP kepada gross national product yang mana tambah paid to tolak uh, earn from tambah subsidies Subsidi kawan dia dengan indirect tax So ini nak pakai masa nak tukar daripada market price kepada factor cost Export adalah expenditure approach See, we have level everything Okay So, macam mana jawapan dia? Uh, this is the answer Number 7 Nah so, First of all, kita tambah yang semua yang E tu dulu Sebab kita nak cari step yang pertama adalah Cari GDP Ya, yeah, E kan expenditure approach Cari GDP market price dahulu Okay So, this is what you do Government spending, campur household consumption Campur expenditure, tolak import Ingat tolak, eh, jangan tambah import kan tolak Dan tambah export Ah, dapat tak? Tolak import Tambah export Add plus everything, dapat ni GDP and P, beres satu step Okay, next is Step kedua kita adalah to find GNP MP domestic nak tukar kepada national so kita kena pakai item yang abrok-abrok tu kan ha. so that's why income earn abrok tambah income pay abrok tolak tambah tolak tu dapat nilai ni ingat eh yang tolak tak dalam bracket ok lepas tu step yang ketiga adalah Nak cari GNP FC Yang tukar adalah GNP tak berubah sama je Market price kepada factor cost Okay So what should you do is Ada dua item Indirect tax dengan subsidies ha. Ambil tax yang betul Okay Indirect tax here Indirect tax Tolak Subsidi tambah Tolak tambah tu hopefully you dah Faham lah kenapa yang tu kena tolak yang tu tambah So you dapat lah GNP FC And last kali kita nak cari apa Ikut flow dia National income Ada satu je yang kena tolak Which is depreciation Ataupun capital consumption And then our question is Dia pakai apa? Dia pakai Depreciation So say minus depreciation You got this Okay And Right Did I not show? Mesti ambil soalan lain lah ah, Sorry guys So okay lah. Tapi contoh dia For example kalau you try question 10 Question 10 pun sama juga Dia ada item untuk PI Which is transfer payment Employee providence fund Social security contribution Business tax Nampak tak ada banyak tax kan ah, Personal income tax Business tax Indirect tax ah, So make sure you ambil tax yang betul Di tempat yang betul So dah label everything Nampak tak Ini cara dia Kalau daripada national income tu Tambah Tolak, 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 tolak Dapat personal income Tolak lagi Dapat disposable income Yang setahun muat nak masuk Di sini belakang So dia duduk kat bawah satu. Tapi dalam soalan Soalan tak ada soalan Sampai national income je Sebenarnya saya nak tunjuk kat awak Macam mana cara Kalau nak dapatkan Up until disposable income So I bet you know Everything dah ni 
Okay Satu dia cara untuk memorize the formula I cannot help you If you don't help yourself You must do the exercise I give Okay Oh, Include together the answer Jangan tengok yang baca Make sure you try buat dulu Classify the item dulu Because this one will come out in your test Tak lama dah test kita Okay Uh, we have last part ni Awak tak belajar pasal ni Real and nominal you tak belajar Saya so, delete terus lah Uses Of national income And problem in calculating national income This one you can read in the textbook Okay Jadi glamour bahagian AC Tapi Basically Very easy for you to understand Users ni maksudnya Kenapa kita perlu calculate national income And So this is the reason In the textbook page I'm not sure what, Where is the pages Sekejap ya Okay Uses of national income ni In the textbook page 305 Okay, if you don't have this Please ask me to snap In the group WhatsApp So that I'll give it to you So that you can do your, your reading And problem of measuring national income Is in the textbook page 306 to 307 If you don't have your textbook Please mention it to me I'll snap it for you Okay So this is for essay part Don't underestimate this question Something is come out Okay Untuk problem ni maksudnya Apakah problem yang kita akan hadapi Semasa mengira national income uh, this, is, this is among the problem yang kita akan hadapi Okay So I'm hoping for you to read on your own Because this one I don't need to explain Because from your reading it itself You can understand this Alright So that's it Our last ch uh, chapter Our last uh, final chapter We have finished everything So times for you to uh, Uh, this is the time for you to do your review and ask me if you have any problem in the group WhatsApp. Okay, thank you.